let me take you out to Lake Pleasant. What a beautiful sunrise out there this morning. We've got temperatures that are in the 70s. We're in the 70s and low 80s all across the valley on this Wednesday morning, but we are going to climb today. 106 is our forecast high. That is about five degrees above normal for this time. If you're not breaking any records, so we'd have to get to 110 to do that. And fortunately, I don't think we're going to climb that high. That record set back in 1977. 81 is our current temperature at Sky Harbor, and that has been our low so far this morning, and that is also above average. Hot temperatures all across the West, well above average. Again, 84 today for spots like Seattle. Seattle 90 in Portland, 106 in both Vegas and Phoenix, and 75 today in Denver. Uh, out east, we've got 78 in Chicago, 80 in Boston today, and 74 in New York City, 85 in Houston, 75 in Oklahoma City. Let's take a look at a seven day rain outlook here. If we can plot the uh, shower activity that is possible the next seven days, maybe we'll see if this graphic wants to update. Maybe not. Well, it was showing uh, some rain. OK, we're just going to move on. It was showing a little bit of rain in eastern Arizona. The weather pattern right now is such that we've got strong high pressure that is centered off to the west of us. But that's our main forecast influence, bringing us the hot weather that is going to stick around all the way through the rest of the week and into the weekend. However, we've got a little bit of moisture sneaking into eastern Arizona. In fact, it's going to lead to showers for probably a third day in a row today. Some isolated thunderstorms on the rim and in the White Mountains of eastern Arizona. These are high base thunderstorms. They don't bring a lot of rain. They bring gusty winds though and dry lightning. Obviously a huge threat for any wildfires that may start. Here's our ridge of high pressure and you can see it really is kind of sitting in place here all the way through Friday and you can see models showing again some isolated thunderstorm activity and a little bit of rain in the high country. There's a slight chance one of those storms moves in from the north or the east and it affects parts of the valley but the chances really are better if you're in a high country spot for that. That ridge begins to flatten and shift off to the east by early next week and that's when we'll see a little bit of relief in terms of temperatures we will still be in the triple digits but closer to about 100 101 not the 106 we're looking at today 106 for Gila Bend as well 105 today for Yuma 111 for Bullhead City yikes 79 for flag today 82 for Sholo we don't see much relief for the rest of this week again right around 106 with partly cloudy skies all the way through Saturday temperatures come down just a little next week